Hey everybody, it's your hospitality friend Glenn here from the Hunter Hotel Investment Conference, and I got Tina Burnett, the Chief Development Officer of, you guessed it, Welcome Motel 6. So Tina, we're here, and one of the things I keep hearing is mixed messages on the state of development. Are you, generally speaking, are you finding you're hearing the same thing here, or what nuances are you hearing? No, yeah, I think so. Everybody's still trying to figure out what's going on, um, where the economy's going. And um, trying to figure out how that plays into their development. Yeah, and it's, it's really interesting that everybody seems to be doing that. Because, quite frankly, that's what everyone always does. <laughs> that's right. Terry, no matter how good things are, no matter how bad things are, everybody's always got to give us uh, mixed <laughs> messages. So, let's get a clear message. How are things going for you in the economy sector of Motel Thing? Um, we're, we're doing really well. I, we had a great 2023. Um, we beat budget and, and opened over 100 hotels. Wow. Um, and we're already ahead of um, goal for 2024. And we're on pace to do another at least 100 that year. That's pretty amazing. How are you able to get so many properties done in a year? Well, I mean, our, our franchisees love us. But, um, and they, you know, 65% of our deals come from our existing owners. Wow. Um, but we have 45% that are new to the brand. Um, as everybody has been, everybody's been dipping into economy lodging, but um, but we have such a simple business model. It's easy to do, whether you're an independent or another brand trying to get into the state. Right, and uh, it's also it's also a great opportunity. Like for for me, if I was open a hotel, I think I'd love to go more on the economy scale to begin with, because I think it's Beep. great. <laughs> right, it's a great place to really learn the business from the uh, the ground. Fine. Right. right. Plus, you guys have a lot of great tools to help people be more successful. For sure. Yeah, and it's um. I mean, it's just an easy business model. You know, we, we don't have food and beverage. We don't have all those things. So you're really just worried about the guest in the room. Mm -hmm. um, so, but we've also, you know, that being said and the mixed messaging, I mean, we opened six new constructions last year. And we have eight more out of the ground. Wow. Which is crazy. I mean, we just, yeah. this just opened. So this, yeah. Well, which one what is, is it? Dallas? Dallas? Dallas just opened. Yeah. I've been to Dallas too many times. <laughs> yeah, no, well, well in there. Just want to go to other places. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. So uh, before we uh, before we wrap this uh, this thing up, the curious thing I, I'm thinking about is how are you helping folks maybe, you know, get the money to actually build these things these days as expenses continue to arrive? Yeah. I mean, we have some really good partners. Yeah. Um, you know, we are not like some of the bigger brands that have really deep pockets, but we're able to work with our owners. And again, it's it's easy to get into and we can get them open quicker to make money. Quicker. Yeah. All right. So. All right. So you've got me thinking <laughs> uh, stay tuned because. You never know if the House of Resort Pool Club and Smokehouse will convert to a uh, <laughs> Montel 6. Come on. We'll yeah. 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 Well, we'll see what happens. Anyway, make sure you check out our good friends over at Motel 6 and download our shows every day. And text the word hotel to 66866 and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.